Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. We have our new topic in general biology, which is all about the cell types and cell modification. This will be the first quarter topic and week 2 and 3. This topic is a milk-based. For the most essential learning competencies, you are going to classify different types of plant, animal, tissues, and specify the functions of each. And to describe some of cell modification that lead to adaptation to carry out specialized functions. There are certain characteristics that all living things exhibit. The characteristics of life. Living things are made up of cells. They metabolize, grow, and develop, respond to stimulus, adapt to their environment, and reproduce. Life on Earth exhibits organization. The atom is the smallest unit of matter, followed by molecules which are combinations of atoms. When these molecules are grouped together, they ultimately form a cell. The cell is the basic unit of life. In multicellular organisms like plant and animals, cells are grouped as tissues to perform a specific function. Different tissues can be grouped further and form organs. The organs form an organ system that makes the function of the body more complex and efficient. Organ system will then form the whole organisms. All living things exhibit organization, whether they are unicellular or multicellular organisms. There are four main types of cell. The epithelial cells, the connective tissue cells, the muscle cells, and the nerve cells. Epithelial tissue, this type of tissue is commonly seen outside the body as covering or the linings of organs and cavities. Epithelial tissues are characterized by closely joined cell with tight junction, example a type of cell modification. Being tightly packed, tight junction serve as the barrier for pathogens, mechanical injuries, and fluid loss. Cells that can make up epithelial tissues can have distinct arrangement. For the cuboidal, it is for the secretion. For the simple columnar, break-shaped cells for secretion and active absorption. For simple squamous, it is a plate-like cells for exchange of materials through diffusion. And stratified squamous, it is a multi-layered and regenerates quickly for protection. And for the last one, it is a pseudo-stratified columnar. It is a single layer of cells, may just look stuck because of the varying weight for lining of respiratory tract, usually lined with cilia. Another type of cell is the connective tissue. Under the connective tissue is the blood. Blood is made up of plasma, example liquid extracellular matrix contain water, salts, and dissolved proteins, erythrocytes that carry oxygen or red blood cells, and leukocytes for defense or the white blood cells and platelets for blood clotting.
Another types of connective tissue is the connective tissue proper or the CTP. It is made up of loose connective tissue that is found in the skin and fibrous connective tissue that is made up of collagenous fibers found in the ligaments and tendons. Adipose tissues are also examples of loose connective tissues that store fats which functions to insulate the body and store energy. Another type of connective tissue is the cartilage. It is characterized by collagenous fibers embedded in the chondroitin sulfate. Chondrocytes are the cells that secrete collagen and chondroitin sulfate. Cartilage functions as cushion between bones. Another type of connective tissue is the bone. Bone is the mineralized connective tissue made by bone-forming cells called osteoblast, which deposit collagen. The matrix of collagen is combined with calcium, magnesium, and phosphate ions to make the bone hard. Blood vessels and nerves are found at the central canal surrounded by concentric circles of osteons. Another main type of cell is the muscle tissue. Muscle tissue, this tissue are composed of long cells called muscle fibers that allow the body to move voluntary or involuntary. Movement of the muscles is a response to signals coming from a nerve cells. In vertebrates, these muscles can be categorized into the following. The first one is the skeletal, it is striated, voluntarily movement. And then the cardiac, it is striated with intercalated death for synchronized heart contraction and it moves involuntarily. Then the next one is the smooth, it is non-striated and it moves involuntarily. Another type of cell is the nervous tissue. These tissues are composed of nerve cells called neurons and glial cells that function as support cells. These neuron cells stimuli and transmit electrical signals throughout the animal body. Neurons connect to other neurons to send signals. The dendrite is the part of neuron that receive impulses from other neurons, while the axon is the part where the impulse is transmitted to other neurons.